welcome to my channel. I'm Tracy Reed and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends and today I am finally, finally, finally going to get to doing a Christmas themed pour. Christmas colors, I guess. I had um, a memory pop up on my Facebook page of my a Christmas swipe I did last year and I realized that I had not done anything for Christmas yet. I've been so busy with um, my 3D printing um, cups and you know sweat tools and nozzles and levelers, all the stuff. I um, just have not really had time to paint as much as I would like. So today that is what I'm going to do. I have my, for Christmas I have some red swipes um, and then I'm working on a ceramic tile. It's a hexagon six, six by six tile. Um, I got these at Lowe's and um, I got some backing to put on uh, when they're done if they turn out. So I'm really excited about that. and. Um, before I get started, for those of you that are new and don't really know, you don't really have to do a lot to ceramic tiles. The only thing that I do is I clean mine with alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, or you can use window cleaner, either one. I happen to keep isopropyl alcohol in my room for cleaning, um, you know, stir sticks and you know, ever, anything, it takes paint off. So. That's what I usually use, and I can do it real quick for you. I put mine in this nail. It's a nail polish remover, and it the top kind of goes up and down, so you can get a, a cloth and just push a couple times, and then just kind of go over it just to make sure that there's no oils from your hands. So once you clean it, it's a good idea to have um, your gloves on. Um, and one other thing I wanted to show you really quick for those of you that have my swipe tools, um, they can get dirty. So what I do is again, with the isopropyl alcohol, just get some on there. And I know that it's acrylic pouring and you know we get stuff everywhere. And you know, I'm guilty of that as well. But, and it's not gonna clean it perfectly, but you can see that it cleans it up quite a bit better. And, and then, you know, it can make things look a little a little prettier. So that's how I usually keep some of my stuff clean. This one here, um, let me get it here. This one here was filthy. You can see, I mean, that's gonna be stained a little, but it looks so much better. Um, and it goes for, you know, cups, the 3D printed cups with the material that's used. Um, it's a little, sometimes the paint does stick, but the alcohol does help keep it a little bit uh, a little bit cleaner. So really quick, I'm gonna just get my gloves on. Well, let me go over the colors first. Um, I have quite a few and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them all, but I'm gonna show them to you anyway. So the first one I have is uh, from Soho Urban Artists and it is um, Ella's Aaron Crimson. And then I have another red and that is from Amsterdam and it is Naphthal Red Deep. And let's see, I've got a couple different golds that I'm using, um, or that I may use. One of them is Deco Art 24 Karat Gold, and then I've got Amsterdam, um, what is this one, Light Gold. And what I did, and I can't really tell the difference once I did it, but I mixed them um, half and half. Um, just to kind of tone down the deco art just a touch but I put them on a tile to test my drip you know my drip test and you can't even tell this one um, is a little bit uh, you can see it's not quite as shiny and that's the one I mix half and half so the color still looks pretty much the same so this is the one the mixed one is in the cup and then this one is all deco art in my bottle so We'll see how it goes. <laughs> and then I also have um, green, and I actually started out with the uh, Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Crystal Green. And when I mixed it, I dumped the whole bottle into my cup here. And I only filled, because it's a craft paint, 
So for those of you that are newer, um, craft paints are much thinner than, you know, uh, an Amsterdam or even these Deco Art paints, the Soho, Liquitex, all those other, you know, those other brands are more of a, a, a medium body. Um, and even if you go Golden or Liquitex Professionals, those are more of a heavier body. So you're going to need more pouring medium. So for this one, I only started out with a half of this uh, thing. So this was two ounces. I put in one ounce um, and it was too, too runny. So I pulled out the Deco Art um, Americana Emerald, which I love. I actually kind of forgot that I had it back there. Um, and I added some and I uh, thickened it up till I got the right consistency. And then, you know, you can do your little, let me see, I got quite a few of these. Do your little tile, you know, tests and stuff and see. That's how I test consistency sometimes. Most of the time I kind of just eyeball it uh, because I've been doing it long enough that I can, um, you know, kind of tell. So, the, all the paints that I am using today are mixed with my regular pouring medium, which is Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol and water. And um, I think there's a little bit of Golden GAC 800 in there as well. And uh, I use that mainly, I may just start doing it all the time. Um, I mainly used to do it just in the winter months because, or the uh, summer months because of the humidity would cause cracking in my paintings, but um, I think I'm just gonna leave it in there full time. Oh, and I also forgot that I'm going to be using um, Amsterdam Lamp Black, and, and I have the white, titanium white somewhere for the cell activators. I've got them both in my bottle, and um, I can't find my, <laughs> my titanium white tube. So the way that I mix that is I take three tablespoons of the Australian Floetrol and one teaspoon of the Amsterdam either lamp black or the titanium white. That is my recipe. I've been using that for a while and it works really, really good. So we're going to get started and I think I'm going to do a swipe first. I've actually got two, two tiles um, and the other one I'm going to use my mini uh, leaf blower with my attachments for that one. But this one we're going to do the swipe first. So I think I am going to start with um, a base of gold is what I'm going to start with, I think. <laughs> I'm kind of just winging it because I didn't really have a plan. So, and I don't normally do like the normal pillow paint um, with the white. I I've never really done it that way. So that's just that's just me. My base layer, my first color down is usually my base layer is what I, I guess. So next I'm gonna put some red down. And this is the, actually I want the darker red. I'm gonna use the, um, the Soho red. Put a nice bit of that on there. Um, Actually, I think I may do my, I think I'm going to use that one first. Okay, I think I got out of, I got out of order here a little bit. <laughs> um, let's see, and then I'm going to put a little bit, yeah, we'll use this one. A little bit more gold, just because I want to separate the red and the green just a little bit. of that and then I think I'm gonna do this other red next this is the Amsterdam red there we go and then another little bit of the gold bit more green okay and I think I'm gonna use black cell act 
activator with this one. Oh, my cap was stuck. That's not really gonna be a big deal anyway, so no big whoop. And it's gonna go everywhere no matter what once I start to spin it. So, all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of that right there in the middle. because I changed my mind I'm doing I'm gonna use the nozzles first now I'm starting off I have all three of my sizes I'm gonna start off with the middle one um, that one has the most power so here we go I'm loving, loving that. Super, super pretty. I don't know if you guys can see how pretty that is. I don't usually do a lot of zhuzhing like, you know, that, but I think it needed a little bit of something. Ooh, look at that. So, so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna move it and then I'm going to get my other one all right guys so I've got my area somewhat cleaned up <laughs> I've got a new tile and I've got my swipe tools here I don't know if I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna use the bigger the three inch one I think I'm gonna use these two smaller ones um, but with this one I am going to coat the canvas with or the um, well, it is my canvas, but um, the tile with the Soho uh, Alizarin Crimson first. I'm using all the same same colors as before. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just kind of cover that. I'm going to start with um, some gold first. doesn't really matter if it's to the end because I'm going to spin this and swipe it. Go this way a little. Oops. And then probably this way. Okay. Now we'll do green. And I'm just having a little bit of fun here, so. And we'll use the other red. All right. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cell activator and my swipe tool. I'm going to do it like over here a little ways <laughs> and I'm just going to put it on the back. Now a lot of times I'll dip it. Um, I usually will use a lid and I'll take, I'll get one. I, sometimes I put it in a lid 
um, for just in case, but I'm doing it this way today. Whoops, and I just spilled it, so let's go. And then wipe it. There we go. So here's how I do it sometimes too. I'll just put it in there like that. And then I'll just go ahead and dip it. Then you can see that it's covered on the back. Alright guys, here we go with the dried photos, and I am really happy with my results. I think both of these turned out just gorgeous. The um, There's just so much detail in each one of them, so I love them both. I will be putting um, some cork backing on them, um, getting them sealed, and I think they will even sparkle even more. And I just want to give a quick shout out to one of my um, subscribers. She's been subscribed to me for quite a while. I got the most beautiful Christmas card in the mail from her. So thank you so much, Josie Caps. I wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. As well as all of you watching, I do hope you are able to enjoy this holiday season with your families. All right, guys, and if you enjoyed my video today, I would appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And again, I do wish you all a very Merry Christmas, 
and I will catch you in my next video.